So hi everyone, myself Shraddha Agarwal. I am going to talk about the design implementation of RFSOC Loopback design. This is the reference example from AMD Silence for RFSOC. So in this video, I am going to talk about the feature of RF data converter in RFSOC, comprising of the multiple ADC and digital to analog converter. Next, a detailed configuration process of RF data converter for any desired carrier frequency and the transmission bandwidth. So the main goal is to understand how to configure the data converter for a given sampling rate. Uh, for a particular sampling rate, we are generating a clock configuration files to configure the clock quantity. So in this example, we are using the TICS Pro software for generating the clock files. So we will explain how to set up the module for a particular given range of the sampling frequency. Now moving forward, coming to the objective part. So main objective is to verify the working of the, this design. Other is to generate the clock file for the custom sample frequency range. So this loopback design is implemented on the RF SOC board using the that is a JCU triple one board. In this design, we are giving the input analog signals and taking the and lock signal as the output. So we are giving the input and lock signal by using the signal generator and getting output at the spectrum analyzer. So for that, we need to set up the clock files using the system control UI. So for this design, we are setting the sampling frequency of ADC and DAC at 1.47456 gigahertz for the setup. We can also run design at a different sampling rate, but that can be achieved by generating the clock files using the TICS Pro software for a particular frequency. So this is the block diagram as we are giving the signal to the signal generator. It could be any signal that should be a sinusoidal, triangular, square, matter of any frequency range that we are giving as an input to the ADC. And then uh, this ADC frequency, output frequency that is streaming at 184.32 megahertz is going to the DAC uh, block. From there we are giving getting that the analog output, capturing at the spectrum analyzer. So for this design, we are giving the sinusoidal signal having a frequency range of 125 megahertz and the power of the minus 10 dB. So we need to take care of the power uh, during the input uh, we, are, we are giving to the RFSOC port. So this is the uh, design. So first, what we need to do, we have a file for this example that we need, that is in the form of .zip file. So it will look like this. So we need to extract that file. Then we will see that there is a file named vv.zip. Then we need to extract that file and then we need to generate the bit stream for that. Uh, at the end, I will show you the demo also, but not try to understand the step right now. So this is the block design that uh, we got from, get from the Vivado. So as you can see here, we are using the RF data converter. So now we are giving the input that is analog input at the V input and then getting output from the V output. So as you can see, we are using the, giving a feedback to the data FIFO. So this is basically for if we want to change the buffer length or anything in our design, then we can use this AXI full stream data code. So as you can see here, we are getting the analog input that is converted into the digital format that is streaming through this stream data V4 and then it is coming out to the S13 port and then it is again converting into the analog format that is taken as an output to V output. So this is the 125 megahertz the system controller frequency that is we are giving to the clock and user that is converting it into the 100 megahertz of frequency. So this is all about the block design. So now we need to check the setup of the design. So RF converter ADC setup. So we are using the ADC zero type. So enable ADC selected over here. As we are using the decimation mode of the signal, here interpolation and decimation factor both are one for this example. So we are setting it at the one, but also we can change it to two, four and eight also. But for this design, we are keeping it to one only. 
same for the DAC also. We are using the DAC three type. So uh, we selected this enable DAC and then interpolation mode is 1x. We can also change it to 2, 4 and 8. This is the uh, clocking setup as we have a system clock frequency range of 100 megahertz. ADC and DAC port is set up to 1.47456 giga uh, samples per second. And at the output, you will see we are getting the 184.320, that is a streaming frequency for our data signal. So now design setup, coming to the design setup, we need to set the input sinus auto frequency at the signal generator, that is another frequency range of 125 megahertz. Level is minus 10 dBm. So first we need to connect the input to the ADC 224 port and then take output from the DAC229. Then we need to turn on the board and set the clock using the clock voice. Uh, so there are two IC, that is one is the LMX259 and another one is the LMK0420. So LMX259 is for, for the sampling clock, clock for ADC and DAC. 4208 is providing the reference clock to the LMX259 that is like a uh, oscillator frequency given to generate the particular sampling frequency rate. So in this example, for the whole design, we are keeping the if oscillator is set to the 122.88. We are not going to change this frequency, but through this frequency, uh, we are going to convert it to the uh, particular sampling rate that, that we required in the design. And at the end, we need to program the board using the Vivado and then the output can be captured using the spectrum analyzer. And Milin will uh, show the demo of this design setup in the second part. So this is the design setup. As you can see, we are setting the input at 125 MHz minus 10 power. So here we are giving the input to the ABC board and then we are taking output from the DAC board. As also spectrum analyzer is connected at the output, from there, you can see the sinus order waveform. So before that, you need to set up the clock file also. So as you will connect the board to the uh, connect the board to the system, then you will see when you will turn on the board, then you will see uh, after look, then you will see the uh, serial number over here. So you need to select that serial number and then click on the OK. After that, you need to set up the file that you generated from the clock configuration that is TICS software. I will explain later how to generate that clock. So you need to put that files over here in this folder. Then you need to set up the particular frequency. For LMX2594 and LMK4208. Now after setting up the frequency, you need to read the tab first and then the tap second. After setting up the frequency, this is the hardware manager setup where you need to open the new target, click next and connect to the required, desired board. As after connecting to the board, you need to program the board. After programming the board, you will see the ID output that will be displayed on the screen. As we are, uh, I'm just moving a bit fast because we already came in the part two of the design. So this is the waveforms that we will see at the output. So output peak at 125 megahertz that we gave as the input also. But as you can see, we gave the minus 10 dBm of the power to the input signal. Now we are receiving it minus 32.02 dBm. But there is some loss factor minus 14 dBm from the cable. So overall received output signals having a level of minus 17 dBm as you can see here. So now coming to the clock configuration part. So for the clock configuration part, you need to uh, you you need to download the TICS Pro software clock generator from the Texas. So after downloading, you can follow this link to download the TICS Pro software. After downloading, you need to go to the default configuration, set it to the default mode. That is a select device. Then you also, yeah, one thing you need to do, you need to go to the first select device and PLL 
VC and then LMX259. So you need to select that particular IC and then you need to go to the default configuration, set it to the default mode. After setting it to the default mode, there's a one particular thing that you need to do. So you need to uh, set the F oscillator that you can see here, F oscillator, we will set it to 122.8 at mobile. Then for the doubler, we are going to select the X1. And then here, you need to deselect this port. port and you need to set this 31 value to the 12 value. And then we are coming to the channel divide. This is the most important uh, thing that can lead to the variation in the frequency. That is a channel divider and end divider and fraction pass. So we are going to select for the 1.47456, we are going to select the six. And then uh, N is 72 and we want. So you need to uh, do all this setup for the design. So now question is how we are getting this value. So here is a formula that we are using that is FVCO equal to FPD into N plus N numerator by denominator. So where F output, F output is our RA frequency that we required for the design. Channel DV divider that we can select uh, for our design. It should be 2, 6, 8, uh, whatever you want to use. But that should be in a certain limit for the VCO. So after selecting the channel divider, uh, FPD, we are putting the FPD as a F oscillator frequency that is 122.88. Then you will get N plus uh, numerator by denominator some value. Then you need to set N and numerator denominator values in such a way that they will satisfy the particular calculated value. So for the 1.4756 we are, uh, so it is coming out to be n is equal to 72, numerator equal to 0, and denominator equal to 1. So after setting up the entire key, now moving forward, we need to move to the raw resistance and then we need to export the register now. So as you can see, we, uh, we are exporting the optimal register value to get the text file to configure our board interface. So that's all. This is the design that we need to configure. Now coming to the demo part, as I already told you, so what you need to do, so this is our LMX2594 TICS Pro software. So first, what do you need to do? You need to go to the select device and PLL and you need to select that is LMX2594. As I already selected LMX2594, I don't need to change it. Now go to the default configuration and set it to the default mode. Now it is it came out to be a default one. Now come to the repository. That is the 122.88 megahertz. Coming to the doubler part, doubler is set to the X1. And then what do we need to set? Uh, we need to untick this value and then we need to set it to the 12. As you can keep it uh, right now for our design, we keep it to the clear, but you can select any of the value. Few registers will be changed because of this value. So in our design, we put it up to the 12. Now coming to the end divider, we are putting for the 72 for the 1.4756 because of the clock frequency range. So now setting up the end divider numerator and the numerator fraction that is what uh, we need to change the channel divider part. So as you can see, we are getting the output 1474.56 million, that is 12 into the. But as you can also see, there is something uh, out of range value. So we need to select the desired FPD range. And for this also, we need to set it to the 3. So now that's all. Now you need to go to the raw register value and then you need to do export register now. Then you can select uh, save this design, register files on a .txt format that you are going to use it in the proper design process. Now one more thing I want to explain that is the uh, Bexton generation part. So as I already told you, you have a folder over here. So you need to open this folder. You need to open this folder. At the end, you will see there's a Vivado project file. You need to open this file. 
then you will see this will appear on the screen. So what you need to do, uh, you can go to the open blog design. So this will appear. So this is our open blog design. This is the RF data converter as I already discussed in our uh, blog design task. So you can double click on this. So you can see over here. So that we are using selecting the ADC zero. So enable ADC is active over here. Not destination and compilation factor for our example is one. So we are setting it to the one, but you can use any of the value two, four, eight also as per the design requirement. Uh, same for the DAC also. So you will go to the DAC part and then you can see. Uh, in this example, we are using the DAC tree, DAC tile 229. So we will go to the DAC tile 229. And you will, there you will see we are using the DAC tree. So enable this tick over here and we can change the interpolation, this interpolation factor from here. Now coming to the system clocking, as you can see, we are setting the XI4 light clock at 100 megahertz. Then ADC sampling rate and that sampling rate is 1.47. You can change this value also by setting up the clock size. As you can see, we have a clock output, fabric clock that is 184.320. The frequency at which the data is streaming from ADC to DAC port. So this is the design uh, configuration part. Now uh, you need to go to the generate text stream. And then you need to, to click OK. So at the end, you will see after waiting for 15 20 minutes, the sun will change. So for this design, already generated the bed stream. Now, in the next design, we are going to uh, talk about how to run this design. Uh, thank you. That's all.